Huawei closed out 2017 in impressive form with the Mate 10 and the Mate 10 Pro, and it's looking to carry that momentum forwards this year with the P20 and the P20 Pro. So according to Huawei, these two devices are such a huge leap from the P10 series that they needed double the number. And to be fair, they really do impress. So what makes them so great? I'm Adam Shanitsky from Android Authority, and these are the top five features of the Huawei P20 and P20 Pro. So first up for feature number one, we have the P20's eye-catching design. This phone really is a looker. When considering the design philosophy for this year's model, Huawei said it drew inspiration from the way that artists use light to accentuate paintings and other forms of art. And to be honest, it's hard to argue with the results. So in a notable departure from the P10, Huawei outfitted the P20 and P20 Pro with a glass front and back around a curved metal frame. That means that the glass camera visor seen on previous P-series devices is gone. Instead, the rear camera setup is now vertical with two sensors on the P20 and three sensors on the P20 Pro. And don't worry, we'll be coming back to those cameras later. The P20 comes in five different colours, including midnight blue, pink gold, black and champagne gold. But the real highlight is the stunning Twilight model. The gradient finish here ensures that the phone grabs your attention from all angles, and it's something that really has to be seen in person to truly appreciate. It's also worth noting how thin each device is, with the larger Pro managing to cram in a 4,000 mAh battery at a thickness of just 7.8 mm. That 4,000 mAh battery alone could easily have had its own entry on a list like this. But of course, for number two, it's impossible to talk about the phone's design without touching on the new full view display and Huawei's potentially controversial decision to adopt the notch. The P20 is in fact by far the highest profile case of hashtag notch life on an Android device since the essential phone. And it's all too easy to draw overall visual comparisons with Apple's iPhone X. Huawei says it included the notch to maximize screen real estate, which has been bumped up to an 18.7 by nine aspect ratio on both the vanilla P20 and the Pro. Of course, the cutout won't be to everyone's tastes, but in a smart move, Huawei's included a toggle in the settings menu that effectively removes the notch completely in favor of a regular notifications bar that hides the notch in the middle. As for the display itself, the P20 sports a 5.8 inch LCD panel with a 1080p resolution, while the Pro makes the jump to OLED and clocks in at 6.1 inches. Despite both phones upgrading to the kind of elongated screens we've gotten used to in recent months, they retain front-facing fingerprint sensors like those found on the P10. Whether that's a problem or not will come down to personal preference, but it does seem almost as though Huawei was so keen on stripping down the top bezel that it just kind of forgot about the bottom one. But let's move on from all that and talk about the biggest change this year, the camera, and number three has to go to the show-stopping triple lens setup. So the regular P20 has a Leica dual camera with a 12 megapixel RGB and 20 megapixel monochrome sensor combo. That's already a significant boost over the P10 and the Mate 10 series. Yet while other OEMs are still playing catch up and making the shift to dual lens cameras, Huawei's going one step further with the P20 Pro by adding a triple camera. This boosts the RGB sensor up to a whopping 40 megapixels and adds an eight megapixel telephoto lens. Add those three together and you've got a total of 68 megapixels on one phone and a combined ISO rating of 102,400. The P20 Pro's camera also supports 4D predictive focus for tracking moving objects and boasts the largest pixel size of any smartphone by fusing one pixel into four to create a two micrometer pixel size. Both the Pro and the standard P20 are also capable of recording super slow motion video at 960 frames per second in 720p. In our early tests, it doesn't seem quite as intuitive as the super slow-mo on last year's Sony Xperia XZ Premium or the recently released Galaxy S9, but it's still a ridiculously fun feature to play around with. The penultimate entry on this list is another camera feature, 5 times hybrid zoom. Now the first thing to note is that this is, as the name suggests, a hybrid system and not 5 times optical zoom. Instead what we have is a depth sensing telephoto lens that provides three times optical zoom, which then combines with the main RGB sensor to capture shots with up to five times magnification. We've tested the maximum hybrid zoom on multiple occasions now and have come away impressed every time. Blur is kept to a minimum thanks to the motion detection powered by the Kirin 970 chipset's NPU capabilities, while the phone's four in one hybrid focus system helps to create gorgeous shots with rich, vibrant colors, great detail, and very little noise, even at five times zoom. But it's those AI systems that deserve the last entry on this countdown, as it wouldn't be a modern Huawei camera suite without some AI-assisted photography goodness. Anyone familiar with the Mate 10 and Mate 10 Pro will instantly recognize the P20 series scene detection feature, which adjusts camera settings based on the subject within the frame. 
Rather than completely overhaul the feature, Huawei has worked with professional photographers from around the world to fine tune these scenes. As an example, say you have a nice spread of cupcakes and macaroons, as you ready your shot the P20 will automatically hop over into a food scene. The big difference this time around is that the P20 is actually clever enough to identify these as desserts, rather than say a big slab of meat, and will quietly tinker with the camera settings behind the scenes to best capture the mouth-watering treats. The Master AI has other uses too, for instance it will let you know if you need to tilt your aim or move around to fully capture a group shot. In addition, Huawei says its AI image stabilisation technology will enable handheld long time exposure shots of up to 4 seconds, so you can capture stunning night shots without the need for a tripod. I've always loved the long exposure setting on Huawei phones for taking stunning shots of the night sky that look like they've come straight from the pages of the National Geographic. I imagine the National Geographic might disagree, but you get my point. These are just a handful of the most notable features on the Huawei P20 and P20 Pro based on our early impressions. You'll be hearing more from us on Huawei's latest flagship as we spend more time with the phones ahead of a full review. Until then, be sure to like, comment, subscribe and ring that bell for notifications because we are your source for all things Android.